welcome students to my last lecture which is lecture number 60 and in fact uh, if you see I have uh, designated as epilogue. You might have seen that in the end of every book there is a epilogue chapter in which every detail of the whole uh, book is given. In fact, this is what I am going to give you in this particular epilogue lecture uh, number 60. See what I want to say that over the 12 weeks that uh, I have uh, covered various aspects and uh, of farm machinery and uh, conservation agriculture, various aspects. So, I would like to uh, take you through um, from the, my first lecture to the 60th lecture and then we, we have given some sort of uh, uh, other insight into different problems which we should solve. We have given answer to those problems. I think uh, this will lecture will give you more insight into the whole uh, um, book uh, or you can say the lecture which is right from lecture 1 to lecture 60th. Let us go through these uh, slides which I have made for you and I am sure you will have several questions because we have put in more of uh, uh, numericals in this, but then we have also talked of what we discussed in every lecture. So, in short and I will uh, go through these, I hope you will be able to uh, connect what I am going to say here. See week 1, in week 1 we had considered the farm mechanization, status of food production in India and need for farm mechanization. You would definitely like as an agriculture engineer what is farm mechanization and why there is need for this. We have talked of the different machines for field preparation, we have talked of the different types of equipment available for uh, uh, preparation of the soil, what are the different uh, parameters which we uh, try to uh, design and consider when we are talking of the tillage operations, uh, what are the different uh, uh, aspects of these uh, equipment for example, disc plow, disc harrow, uh, what are the forces acting when the soil, they are working in the soil, what is the trajectory of rotavator which is one which is very, um, uh, uh, very widely used nowadays. Similarly, what are the UV ratio and cutting speed of this rotavator, the power uh, flow diagram for tractor to the uh, rotavator how the power flows, we have also talked of this. We wanted to give you an idea about how the power is moving from the tractor to the implement. Then the, uh, we have also talked of the design of a rotavator and design of the rotavator blade. This is what was talked in week 1 through the various uh, lectures, lecture 1 to lecture 6 in this. And we have given you various concepts. These concepts will help you in understanding the tillage concept and the need for mechanization and what, uh, uh, what are the parameters which need to be considered if you want to redesign something, if you want to select something uh, for a particular given uh, farm size. In this, we have uh, jotted down few problems for you. You can have a look at these problems. Uh, I am sure uh, these problems, you will be in a position to understand and uh, solve these problems. We have given the answer of these problems, all the mm, four problems which are given in this uh, ch chapter, particularly uh, for this particular week, we have picked up certain things uh, for you. I hope uh, you will be able to design more problems and then acquaint yourself very well with this particular uh, mm, uh, week of the lectures which we have considered. And the four problems, so as I said, four problems have been uh, done for uh, for. Uh, this lecture week 1. Now, lecture week 2, this lecture week 2 uh, was uh, lecture 7 to lecture 11 and in this uh, we have talked of uh, different aspects of uh, hitching, single point hitch, three point hitch, quick hitting, uh, hitch, hitching couplings, the free link and restraint link operation, mechanics of tractor hitching, we have talked of the dynamic, the static dynamic and slopy ground, what happens when the tractor is there what is traction, although you will find that uh, people do not uh, include this chapter in the farm machinery book, but I think it is very essential that traction is uh, taken care of because implement is the one which creates uh, traction when it is there in uh, connection with the soil. The types of tires, then tract what are the different tract uh, traction models, what are the combination tillage, uh, what are the types of combination tillage which we have, what is specific drop what is specific work for combination tillage, power requirement of given of uh, the combination tillage implement. We have talked of all these if you go back to the lectures uh, of week 2 uh, in these uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we have 
uh, we have talked of all these important things. For example, we have talked of the laser, we have talked of the laser, uh, uh, laser guided line labeler which has become a very important equipment now for saving uh, 20 to 30 percent of irrigation water. The components and details, all these things have been talked of. We have also talked of a hydraulic, uh, electro hydraulic heat system which is slightly above and which talks of more of uh, automation uh, in the tractor systems. In this particular week, then uh, we have uh, also uh, picked up few problems. We have about five, six, seven, eight, four, pro four more problems are given and uh, the answers of all these problems are given. Well, uh, I am sorry if there is any mistake in this. We hope that there won't be any mistake. But uh, in advance, I would like to say that if there is any mistake, it could be all um, inadvertent mistake. Uh, if at all there, we will definitely like to um, rectify them as and when they come up, if you pick up. And any problem that you face, I am sure you will come forward to ask us about the answers. How do we get these answers? And what are the correct formulae to be used and all that? Now, we go to uh, week 3. Now, in third week, uh, what do we get is, uh, we have talked of the uh, seeding equipment. We are talking of the different methods of seeding. We are talking of uh, the different types of seed drills. We are talking of the components of seed drill. So, the third week lecture uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. In these lectures, we have talked of the seeding equipment and the various uh, fertilizer equipment and what are their details. For example, we are talking of the bulk seed metering devices, we are talking of the single seed metering devices, we are talking of calibration of these devices, we are talking of fertilizer metering devices, metering systems, we are talking of the soil covering devices, very important. You might have seen, we have also shown these things in the field operation of the equipment uh, during the uh, process. Then we have talked of the operation of various seed drills, we have talked of the details of that in the field as well as. Uh, in the in the laboratory, then we have talked of precision planting. We have talked of this is very important thing. We have talked of pneumatic planters and their details of pneumatic planters. We have talked of what sort of design of seed metering unit and blowers are required. We have talked of so in this lecture we have talked of the seed and fertilizer equipment design parameters, their uh, nitty gritty details of uh, design, and uh, what are their advantages disadvantages and how they should be utilized and for what crop and all that. We have talked of this in my third week. And then on the basis of this third week here, we have given four problems, problem 9, 10, 11 and 12, again four problems. And we have solved these problems. These problems are very uh, straightforward problems, but then you must uh, read the whole lecture and then only you will be able to answer them. Because we have tried to take uh, the different aspects of the uh, uh, concepts which we have developed and those things have been asked over here. So, until unless you go through the concepts, you will not be in a position to uh, complete these problems. Now, we go to week number 4. Now, in this week, uh, we are um, uh, through lectures 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. Now, through these lectures, we have talked of peritransplanting, we have talked of microcontroller based uniform seed rate application, we have talked of GPS based automatic variable rate fertilizer applicator, we have talked of embedded systems, a design of seeding equipment. Now, these this particular lecture in the week, we have talked of certain advanced equipment, which you may not find in some books uh, where, but the research which has been done at IIT Kharagpur, we have talked of these. For example, paddy transplanting, we have talked of the details of paddy transplanting, classification, types of uh, 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 these equipment which are there. Then system, we have talked of SRI which is being talked so much. So, system of rice intensification, this is being talked of so much in uh, uh, dry, dry land agriculture and we have talked of that also which will help you in understanding because uh, in 2018, a farm machinery engineer must be knowing all the details of what were there in the past, what has been over the last 20, 30 years and what is going to happen in the next 20, 30 years. So, you should be, so the, uh, we have talked of all these and we have also talked of what is going to happen or what is likelihood and that is why we have talked of the advanced things which we have done at IIT Kharagpur, those things have been embedded in this. For example, the embedded system, the GPS and uh, several microcontroller, ultrasonics and sensors, all these things have been used and those examples we have given, the principles we have talked of, the circuit diagrams we have talked of 
and we have certain, for example, we have uh, infused in you the need for learning more and more beyond agriculture engineering. You need to learn more of electronics as well because that is going to be utilized. So, electronics and computer science also. You must take some of these lectures which will help you in designing things which will bring us uh, equipment which will be uh, very, uh, you can say that um, high graded and they, are, uh, they will require uh, less cost as well as uh, they will be easier to operate and they will take care of all the exigencies of the field. So, that is why these have been talked and then this also we have got about three problems here 14, 13, 14 and 15 and these problems are on the basis of the lectures. So, you must go to the lectures and then only you will be in a position to answer these. <coughs> The fourth, uh, uh, fourth problem is also given and the answer is given. So, with these four problems, the week 3 is over and uh, you, if you go through that, the aim of the numerical problems, I repeat, is to go to let you know more details into the aspects of design and understanding the system. Uh, week 5, well, in this week we had uh, lecture number 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26. And in this lecture, we have talked of the various aspects of the seeding equipment and the uh, design of the uh, of a particular seed, um, uh, tractor drawn seed reel. We have also talked of uh, testing of uh, this equipment, which is very important. And on the basis of all these, then uh, uh, we have uh, told you what are the parameters, what are the nuances of details which are required for forces acting for their calculations, dimensions, all those things. And that is why uh, on the basis of this we have given you uh, a set of problems 17, 18, 19, uh, sorry there is a mistake here, 19, problem 19 in fact, 119, problem 19, 20. These problems are also given on that basis. So, you can you can solve these problems and understand more about what we have talked in this uh, uh, in this in this particular uh, week. Week six. Well, week six uh, talks of the um, more details of the uh, of uh, machines, uh, farm machines, uh, the, the slave, the draft, and the. Uh, estimation uh, of vegetable transplanting as well as estimation of tractor axle, PTO torque and several other things. As there are certain things which we have done at IIT Kalapur and we wanted to explain to you. So, the lecture 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 talk in uh, has been discussed in like, you know, week 6. And then this week uh, we have talked of all the details of for example, the wheel sleep, universal sleep, uh, the validation of the slip sensing device, what is a load cell, how the load cells have been used in a three point linkage which is the dynamometer which we developed at IIT Kharagpur, then power transmission of a two wheel drive um, uh, um, tractor, conceptualization of an axle torque uh, which has been developed, then the telemetry system for signal uh, communication and all that. We have developed all those things and tried to discuss this and on that basis we have we have um, again jotted down few problems which will help you to understand those things better. Answers are already given, so you will be in a position to uh, do and learn more with all the four problems which are given here. Week 7. Now, in week 7 we had lectures, lecture number 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, wherein we have discussed the farm machines of interculture operation, weeding blades, the different advances in uh, intra inter and intra row bidding uh, blades, I mean the, the equipment which are available, the tractor mounted microcontroller based units, the herbicide applicator, the uh, manual drawn uh, equipment, testing etcetera. So, several aspects have been uh, discussed here for example, what is mechatronics and what is uh, sensor based uh, technology, how the chemicals should be utilized, what we have also talked of ergonomics in design of uh, manual weeders. I mean, we have talked of all these details which are slightly different from what uh, you will find in a normal farm machinery book. I want, uh, as I said earlier, that in 2018, uh, agricultural engineer must be equipped with all this information of what is happening today and what is likely to happen in future. So, on this week then, you will have 
another uh, uh, problem here. I think uh, we have given you one problem in this case, but then um, I would request you to develop few more problems and then solve on your own. And uh, if you have uh, done any problem, you can always ask me when we will be on, on live someday, then you should uh, ask the questions. You can also tell that this is the problem I have designed and solved. We will be happy for that and we will appreciate that you have tried to learn something from what we have delivered. Uh, week 8, actually in week 8 we had uh, lectures, lecture number 37, 38, 39, 40 and 41. In this we have talked of the plant protection equipment, uh, the selection and design of plant protection equipment. Uh, we have talked of the knapsack type, boom sprayer, performance evolution of these, testing and certification of the spraying equipment. Now, as you will see that we have in these equipment, we have all talked of testing and certification. As an agriculture engineer, you must be aware of all these things uh, because uh, somebody will ask you to test and certify and you should be capable of doing that. Once you understand the details, you know the procedure, you can record the data, you can uh, report the data and then uh, certify this, uh, which includes the, what is plant protection, duster, sprayers then uh, performance evolution of sprayers, droplet size, uh, different types of nozzles, etc. All the details which have been discussed in this particular uh, week and on the basis of these then we have, uh, we have uh, given problems. Some, uh, these are some of the good problems that we have devised for you. You may not get these problems directly in from any book. We have tried to design those problems for you. A certain portion definitely you may think that okay, but we have tried to design new problems and uh, we would request you to design further new problems out of the knowledge that you have gathered through this and check the answers which we have given. If you find any doubt in these answers, we will definitely, you can come back to us. Lecture uh, week 9, in this we had lecture number 42, 43, 44 and 45. In this we have discussed about this, uh, the design and selection of spraying equipment problems associated with these selection, then advanced uh, spraying equipment uh, like ultrasonic sensor based uh, spraying, advanced spraying equipment like drone. Actually now um, robots are being used in many uh, aspects for long time. Now in agriculture also it is possible to use them in various aspects and uh, a lot of work is going on at several uh, institutes in outside in the world. We are also doing it at Kadakur which we have explained to you and shown you and uh, we have talked of the working principle of all these and then try to explain to you how uh, you can utilize this knowledge. Definitely while uh, discussing I had talked of that once you, ha you have to learn about learn or design something, you must have some information about image processing, about embedded systems, about ultrasonic sensors and for that you have to go to electronics book or maybe to have a course on that which will help you in understanding this. So, on this itself, we have designed few problems 29, 30 and 31. So, these problems you can also use these problems for uh, the answers and try to see whether uh, you understand more or not. Week 10, uh, well in this week uh, harvesting equipment, machines for harvesting for cereal crops, root crops and fruits crops, then combined harvester which is very light use, advanced technology for cotton harvesting we had given as I said that um, the uh, robots are being used. So, advanced technology of robot utilization in cotton harvesting. You must have uh, seen when I discussed about cotton harvesting, how difficult it is to do that. And uh, through this then we have talked of the details of principles of harvesting, harvesting equipment, the mechanics of cutting. We have also talked of the fruit and vegetable harvesters. We have talked of robots and image processing. So, uh, through this uh, week 10, we have tried to give you certain advanced things which are there and uh, we hope that we will be able to understand this and on this week also, we have uh, uh, framed certain problems 23, 32, 33, 34 and 35. Well, these problems, some problems have short problems, some problems uh, 3, 4 line problems, but remember that everything has been thought of while giving a problem so that some concepts are used here. So, remember that you have while you can use a formula, the concept must be clear to you and uh, check the answers which are given. You can see here that a big uh, combined machine is given, where details are given and their answers are all given. 
So, check the answers and if you find that there is some ambiguity in these answers, uh, you may ask why, how we have got and uh, how we are not, uh, you are not getting. So, you can always, you are most welcome to ask us uh, those details. Week 11. Now, in this week, we have threshing operation and equipment uh, through lecture 50, 51, 52, 53 and 54. In this lecture, um, week, we have discussed about the threshing operation and equipment, design of threshing equipment, performance evaluation of uh, test, uh, evaluation and testing of thresher, conservation agriculture, materials of construction of farm machinery. Now, in this, uh, you will find, see, uh, while we have talked of the details of threshing and then performance, etcetera, and testing, what is very important is, as an agriculture engineer, you must know what is the material of construction of a particular component of a particular equipment. We know the equipment, we know its operation, uh, the principles, etcetera. But many a times the agriculture engineers, the students do not know about what is the type of material used uh, and why it is used, what are the constituent of this. So, um, uh, we thought that it is essential to have a lecture on that. That is why the lecture number 54 is very important. You must uh, go through the materials of construction. We have talked of what are the important parameters which are this, there, how the hardening takes place, why important hardening is important and what are the different strengths, how the stress strain of the various uh, ferrous and non-ferrous materials changes, behaves. Those things we have put in nutshell in this particular lecture. Uh, I think uh, this will uh, make you a little bit of a uh, uh, metallurgical engineer when you go into de details of that. And as an engineer, you must uh, uh, try to understand what are these metals and why they are being used. But they will help you in choosing, uh, which will be sometimes when you want a lighter material, stronger material, you should be able to use it. When you want a stronger material, uh, lighter material, but uh, um, uh, you can say that say uh, um, lighter material and uh, not heavier also, in both. So, depending on all sorts of things that you want, you should be in a position to choose these machine uh, implements and uh, uh, components. This has been discussed in week 11 and on that uh, also we have certain problems. We have framed certain problems on that to see more details into those uh, which will help you once you do these problems, try to attempt these problems and see the answers which we have given. Uh, check whether they are correct or not. We are confident that they are correct, but uh, check whether you are getting the right concept or not. Otherwise, maybe that you find that this will be the answer, but uh, we are wrong, but then the, if you have not got the concept, you have not caught the concept which we tried, you may not be able to get it. So, week 12. Uh, in this week, we have lecture 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. And uh, in fact, this is the uh, 60th uh, um, lecture, you can say. So, uh, in this week, uh, what we have discussed is uh, very important things we have discussed. For example, re land reclamation machinery, land drainage, land reclamation and state maintenance machinery, very important. See, you, as an agriculture engineer, you must know that what are these machines, why they are used and if you are in charge of uh, land reclamation of a large area which has not been used for a long time, then you should be in a position to have these and you should be in a position to uh, use the machines. You should be knowing these machines, where they are available, what is their capacity, how they work, what is their uh, duty, uh, um, etcetera. So, we have talked of the drainage machines, we have talked of the state machinery, their selection and management. We have talked of all the details of what are the types of machines which are used, bulldozers, angle dozers, the tractor operated front head loaders. We have talked of uh, drainage machinery. We have talked of the, the uh, machinery uh, selection and management. This is another things which, uh, thing which we have discussed because you until unless you know about the machinery selection and management, see you, it uh, is not complete for an agriculture engineer. You should be able to select machine while you can design, you should be able to select machine for a farm size, say 20 hectare we have discussed in one of the lectures. But if you are asked to, for a 10,000 hectare uh, area, what are the crops to be grown, what equipment to be taken, what sort of uh, management to be taken, what crop rotations and what uh, cropping intensity you will do. I think these are things which you have to have and you must do. So, for that uh, we uh, wanted to have this particular lecture number 59 and I am sure this will help you in understanding and selecting a machine and you will make you a complete agricultural engineer. 
uh, on the basis of this also we have uh, jotted down few problems 40, 41 and I think uh, uh, 42, 43. So, mm, you have seen about four problems on this as well. So, we have collected these problems and uh, mm, thrown to you so that you can uh, solve these problems and have these answers. Well, I think uh, this way I, I conclude my mm, lecture, but I would like to mm, uh, in fact uh, 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 mention uh, a part in about the people who have helped me particularly in the field uh, um, uh, equipment testing and uh, field uh, data which is there. So, I would like that uh, um, uh, they should be also acknowledged along with uh, my lectures because they had been right from the beginning. So, uh, let us see who are the people whom I have acknowledged and I would like that they should be mentioned in my whole 12 weeks lectures. They are here. Uh, we would like to introduce my um, uh, fellow uh, workers who have helped us in uh, the field uh, uh, task and the field testing of the various machines you have seen. Uh, you know that uh, these two are our uh, te teaching assistants, Mr. Pratik uh, Srivastava and Mr. Chanchal Gupta. Then we have other staff who have done other work, uh, Mr. Soman Pariya, then Nand Kumar Sarma. Uh, these people have been working here for a long time and they are uh, very good in their own field. Then Mr. Raju, then uh, Mr. Uh, Ranjan uh, Devnath, and uh, Mr. Naren, uh, Harendra Sharma, and Shantanu. So these people have helped, and uh, I am very grateful to all of them that uh, they helped us in the field testing that we have, the students have seen over here. Well, uh, I would like to uh, say my gratefulness to the NPTEL team, which has helped me through these 12 weeks. Uh, in several aspects and uh, I am really grateful to them and I hope that uh, they will be helping uh, such people uh, in future also. Uh, the, uh, the trouble that they have taken is uh, unimaginable. Uh, in fact, I have seen them working over uh, uh, right uh, across the uh, right morning to afternoon, late afternoon and night and also so, uh, I would wish that uh, they should be uh, in fact acknowledged and uh, as one I would like to acknowledge them one by one. I request that, that they, when I call the names I, they should be shown along with me. So, first of all I will call Mr. A. V. Ram, Ramacharlu which whom we call uh, popularly uh, Mr. Ramo. Hi. So, he is one who has helped me and I am very grateful to him. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Thank you. Now, I will request uh, Sri Devesh Prasad ji who has been always uh, nice to me and always helped me in, uh, in these uh, lectures through, through all the 12 weeks and uh, I am grateful to him. So, I wish that he should be also acknowledged. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Mr. Devapriya uh, Chakravarti who has been a very uh, nice gentleman and always uh, ready to help any time that I have uh, required during this period. So, I thank him for the help that he has given to me. Thank, thank you very you. much. Then. Uh, uh, Riti Rupa Das, she has been a very a nice and very soft spoken lady and uh, she has helped me in each lectures and uh, the help that she has given I can never forget. So, thank you very much Ritu and hope you all the best in life. Uh, Mr. Saurav Bhattacharya, this uh, gentleman is a very uh, person who has uh, a no nonsense person, but always ta um, uh, less talks and always uh, of action. I, I liked him whenever he, when I had problem with my uh, Mac phone and all that. So, he would like to put, put it properly. He has done this for the over uh, 12 weeks. I am grateful to him and thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Susant Mahapatra, actually very nice gentleman. You can see this his beard. So, I am very much fascinated with uh, his beard and uh, right from the day uh, one I came here, uh, he has been there and always helped me. I, I would like to acknowledge him and I would like to thank him for all the help that he has given to me. Thank you very much. Okay. Ajay Malik, a person whom you can never forget, uh, we always he will come with uh, 5 minutes left. So, before the lecture ends, uh, he will remind us. So, um, I am grateful to him and I wish that uh, such people should not be um, ignored. Uh, I am grateful to you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. I conclude my uh, lectures and I thank again the whole NPTEL team uh, for this farm machine lecture. I should not forget Mr. S. S. Das, person who actually introduced me to NPTEL 
about uh, two years back at uh, Madras airport when I was sitting, he told me that sir, we had come for some meeting here because that NPTEL course uh, sponsored by MHRD is going to um, is going on and IIT Madras is the one which, who is looking after. So, why do not you co give a course on the, in this, I will give you details. He is Mr. S. S. Das, uh, Mr. Das and uh, I would like to be um, say that I am grateful to him that ultimately he caught me this summer and uh, I am in a position to do this uh, course of farm machinery because he stressed that sir, this is only department uh, in the IIT system of agricultural engineering. So, you must give a course of farm machinery which is in high demand. So, I am thankful to you thank Mr. You, das and thank I you, wish sir. that you have a nice life thank you, and sir. best of all, uh, thank you whole team of NPTEL for this course. Thank you.